In this section on class constructors, we'll start by reviewing how to write constructors for standalone classes when we aren't considering class inheritance. So first, what is a constructor? A constructor is a series of instructions that run when you create a new object. In essence, they construct the data in the new object. A constructor only runs when we create a new object. While not methods, constructors behave similarly to non-static methods. Let's look at this example. We start with a robot class. It has a class variable, robot count, and an instance variable, name. Here's our constructor. Constructors are usually public. The constructor's name must be exactly the same as the class name. A constructor must not have a return type. In this case, there are no parameters in the parentheses. The first line adds one to robot count. Each time we create a new robot object, robot count increases by one. As a class variable, there is only one shared copy of robot count, so we can use this variable to keep track of how many total robot objects have been created. The next line calls the random name method. The random name method generates a random number from one to three and sets the instance variable name to either Bender, HAL 9000, or Gort. As an instance variable, each robot object has its own copy of the name variable. Now let's look at the space station class. In the main method, we declare a variable of type robot called x1. We set x1 to point at a newly created instance of robot. Creating the new robot object causes the robot class's constructor to run. Robot count is updated to one. The random name method assigns the string to the name instance variable. The same thing happens with x2 and x3. Next, let's look at another class that has overloaded constructors. A class with overloaded constructors has two or more constructors, and Java chooses which one to call based on the number, type, or order of parameters. Now, let's look at the Solaria class. On the first line of the main method, we declare an Android variable, z1, and initialize it with a new Android object. There are no arguments passed, so Java uses a constructor with no parameters. On the first line of the constructor, we use the this keyword. In this context, this is referring to the current object and it's calling another constructor in the same class. In the parentheses, we are passing one string argument. Java will find a constructor in the same class with one string parameter. The string literal R Daniel Olivois gets passed to the parameter new name. The name field is set to the value of the new name parameter and the admin password field gets set to the string literal abc123. Now to the second line of the main method. Here, we pass one string to the constructor. In this case, Java goes directly to the second constructor when creating the new Android object. Let's look at a situation where overloading constructors causes problems. The class confusedRobot has two constructors. Each constructor has a string parameter, followed by an int parameter. The fact that the parameters have different variable names is irrelevant. Now on to the main method in the floating city class. We are creating a new confused robot object and passing it a string followed by an int. Java has no way to determine which constructor we want to call. For this reason, we would get an error if we tried to build the confused robot class. Let's look at a final example. We see that the RoboCop class doesn't even have a constructor. In cases where the programmer doesn't write any constructors, Java will give us a freebie, no parameter constructor. Remember, we only get this freebie if there are no other constructors and it will always have no parameters. For the time being, we can think of the body of this constructor as empty. Now, let's look at the Detroit class, which contains a main method. Detroit will also get a freebie constructor, but in this case, we don't really need to think about it. Running the main method in Detroit won't create a Detroit object. Since we aren't creating a Detroit object, no constructor in the Detroit class is ever called. Frequently, we don't create objects from classes that contain main methods. In the main method, we declare a RoboCop variable named Alex Murphy and initialize it to point at a new RoboCop object. There are no arguments passed, so Java calls our freebie no parameter constructor. Since we haven't specified values for our fields, they will initialize to their default values. Now, let's suppose instead of having no arguments in the parentheses, we have an int argument. 
In this case, there is no matching constructor, so the Detroit class will generate an error when we run it. To fix this, we either need to write a constructor in RoboCop with an int parameter, or remove the int argument from the parentheses. If you want to keep learning, click on the thumbnail for the next video. Otherwise, check out the full Java playlist. See you soon.